the entertainment industry. To get right to the point, it is satanic. Can people come out of that and be born again and follow Jesus Christ? There's a few rappers or r and Bers <laughs> that have come out of the industry. Like Montel Jordan here, it says that he retired from r and the recording industry, and he's a pastor now in Georgia. So can people come out of the satanic entertainment industry and then be on the team of our Lord Jesus Christ? Where I stumble a little bit, where I have an issue, is that shouldn't they tell the truth about the industry that they were in? Because if they don't, to me, that's a red flag. Now, I would love for people to come out of that industry, come out of the world and follow Jesus Christ and be a true believer. But people need to show their fruit. They need to bear good fruit. Anyone can say anything. And we know with Team Satan... They're pretty good at lying because Satan is the father of lies. Kanye West, he's supposed to be a Christian now. Remember when he did this? He posed as the Lord Jesus Christ on Rolling Stone. To me, this is very blasphemous. Put the passion of Kanye West putting yourself even close to any level of our Lord, dressing up as him, Wounded with a crown of thorns. To me, this is blasphemy. And Kanye West does the vow of silence. He winks for one-eye symbolism. He's throwing up the devil horns. He's covering one eye in a magazine. So if Kanye is a Christian, don't you think he should say, yeah, the, the entertainment industry I was in, it's satanic. Let me tell you about it. I've come out of that. Now I'm against it, right? You can't serve two masters. These hand signs and symbols, maybe they're in the past, but I just don't believe that Kanye is a converted Christian. Here's rapper Mace. He was friends with Puff Daddy and all that stuff in the 90s. He's doing the vow of silence, keeping the secret about the biblical world. He became a pastor, but then went back to his lifestyle of fame and fortune. Here he is covering his eye with the Holy Bible. Here he is, much clearer, covering one eye, having one eye revealed, the eye of Horus, which is Satan, symbolism, holding the Holy Bible. He was a pastor, quote-unquote, <laughs> and then he went back to the music industry. Montel Jordan, right? He left the R&B. He had that song, this is how we do it. <laughs> I remember that song from the 90s. He's doing the vow of silence here. Did he come out of the satanic industry? Is he converted? Is he born again? Does he follow Jesus Christ? Is he a true man of God? Doing the vow of silence here, even if it's in the past, which I'm not even sure it is in the past, that's a red flag. How many times do we see the people, the tares, do angel wings, fallen angel wings, referencing wings and something biblical and having a picture about it? He's doing the sign of success on his hand, 666. He's doing the sign of success on his hand, 666. He's doing the sign of success on his hand, 666. So does he know what this hand sign means? Because all of the entertainment industry does this sign. And it is not things are A-OK. -okay. It really is 666 on his hand. His friend is throwing up the devil horns, right? When we come out of the world, we're supposed to get away from stuff like this. We can pray for these people and help them, but to hang out and be a part of it, we're supposed to expose this stuff. Becoming unfamous. So did he become unfamous? Is he a man of God? He has a t-shirt that says he loves Jesus in 90s R&B. So I am not 100% sure, but... Someone that does the vow of silence here, that throws up the triple six, the triple six, the triple six, that's a red flag. 
Is he honestly not knowing what hand signs and symbols these are? Because I think that's naive. I think being a part of the industry, you have to sell out to be famous. I remember his song was popular. He got pushed as an artist. He's famous. Did he come out of that? God knows the answer to that. I am suspect of that because of the red flags he does with his hand signs and symbols. This is communication that we didn't get before. It was hidden in plain sight, but now we can see it. So brothers and sisters, use your discernment, use your discretion, go to God in prayer. We don't have all the answers. I would love these people to be born again and follow Jesus Christ to have salvation, but I just don't know because the entertainment industry and the world is sold out and fallen. It's biblical. God bless you, everyone.